Alrighty, 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 settle down guys, settle down. Yes, I'm back, it's your boy, I know, I know. We got another story for you guys today. And this one, hi, <sighs> yeah, yeah, this one is crazy. I think it was like 2016-ish, it was like, it was like, it's your boys. Let's say it's like your college years, all right? It wasn't necessarily high school. It was after high school, and it wasn't a bunch of little high school friends. I had some friends that we all got together, and we would all hang out. It was nice to catch up. One of our friends lived in New York. The other four of us all lived here in Virginia. Still do. One of our friends actually has a pool, so we would all get together, go to her pool. One of our friends from New York, we'll call him, or had come from New York. He had spent pretty much like a week, two weeks here. The one with the pool, we'll call her Cilantro. Okay, so Cilantro and her boyfriend, Garbage. We're literally gonna just call him Garbage. Cilantro and Garbage literally are hosting us and they're like, hey guys, let's all get together. Let's all have a good time. Let's catch up. It's been a long time and let's all swim in the pool. Let's have a good time. So we were like, okay, it's myself, it's Cilantro, it's Garbage and we have from New York, and then we have two other friends that were like pretty much playing tonsil hockey the entire time. We're there, we're all chilling, we're having a good time, and everything seems fine. We knew going into the night that cilantro and garbage literally had a toxic ass relationship. They would fight all the time, and it was so ridiculous. This guy was literally such a piece of shit. One day, he got so mad at her, they broke up. He had bought a toilet for her house. This mother took the toilet so you see why we call him garbage right pretty much at the start of the night garbage had come up to us and was like hey cilantro has been acting really weird when she's been drinking too much like i don't know what's up like she'd be acting like she's possessed or something and we were just like okay like what do you mean like you guys are just drinking too much like stop drinking so the night goes on and we're chilling in the pool and by we i mean myself and then our two other friends that were playing tonsil hockey. And then out of nowhere, we hear from the front porch of the house, cilantro and garbage are literally yelling at each other. What about? I don't know. So we're chilling in the pool. We're like, you know what? Let them deal with their thing. We're going to do our thing. We're having a fun time. We're not going to let it stop us. We're having a blast. All right. We're swimming and we're chilling and we're talking and everybody's just having a good time. Out of nowhere, garbage can comes to the backyard, storms up to us, and he's like, Ishmael, you need to go get cilantro right now. I look at him, I'm like, what do you mean? Like, wh why? He goes, I don't know, but she's possessed, and she has a demon, and she's talking weird. What? This was the moment where like the entire night just like shifted. Like it went from like, wow, it's a montage of us having so much fun together. Like, wow, it's a great group of friends. To literally like, I get out of the pool. I'm drenched in water. My man titties are flip flopping everywhere. My blabber is talking. So I had to walk up there and I'm like, <sighs> Cilantro, are you okay? Literally, Cilantro is sitting on a chair in the front porch, just like crisscrossed. This woman looks at me and says in a deep ass voice, Ishmael, go away. Go back. Oh, heck. Uh uh. Nope. I was like, I'm not. Wait, wait, wait. What? I took my ass back to the pool because I was like, I am not having this. She starts talking to him, to Garbage Can, in that deep ass voice, saying that he is a piece of shit, that nobody loves him, all this weird, dark, toxic ass shit in a deep voice. And I'm just standing there like, is this? It's really possessed or is she really drunk? It had gotten to the point where Garbage and Cilantro were both drinking heavily to the point where one of them or both of them would black out and then this would happen. Like apparently Cilantro would drink and when she would black out, she would supposedly get possessed and she would just say a lot of stuff to Garbage. When he would try to bring it up to her when she was sober, she would say that she blacked out. It was just weird. So she's literally talking to him in her demonic voice or whatever and I'm just like, okay, I need to leave. I go back to the backyard. We're literally and then two of our other friends are just chilling and they're like what's happening i have to explain to them that like our friend cilantro may or like may not be possessed i start praying and i'm like lord if this is really that we have a problem we need to pray for her amen but we also need to get her the hell out of here amen so our two friends that were playing tonsil hockey grabbed their shit and they left and i however had to wait so 
was actually waiting for his ride that was gonna pick him up from cilantro's house at like four in the morning to go back to new york so our friends the ones that were playing tonsil hockey with each other they just left they were like you guys like we're out we don't give a shit like good luck and it was like i want to say it was like maybe 10 11 o'clock when the whole situation happened so i remember that we were so freaked out we sat in the living room near the back door so that like in case anything went down we could easily run out cilantro and garbage can meanwhile are still going back at it at each other like in the front porch just I don't know, like, are they both possessed? Blacking out? I, I don't know. They need to stop drinking. 3 a.m. rolls around, and I remember that <coughs> leaves. Like, they come to pick him up, and I remember that Garbage Can had actually walked Cilantro to her room, and she was, like, still rambling and, like, talking shit to him. Like, it was, it was a really toxic relationship. This guy comes over and like starts talking shit about cilantro. I'm like, bro, what is wrong with you? Also, why are you here if you don't care? I grabbed my shit and I left. I went home. I went home, okay? It's like 4 a.m. and I remember that I called my mom and I was just like, this did not really happen. Like, I thought we were all just gonna have a fun sleepover, catch up. And it'd be a good time. I didn't I didn't think that we were gonna have to see people get blackout drunk that they were gonna get possessed. Like what? I mean, to this day, I guess cilantro is okay. She's doing a whole lot better now. She's not with garbage anymore, thankfully. And as far as everybody else, I mean they're normal, I guess. We don't talk about this incident because it was just kind of like weird. So that's why I wanted to share it with you guys because I even feel like it's weird. I'm like what that was a time that um one of our friends was possessed at a pool so i hope you guys enjoyed that story i uh, hope you found it interesting remember guys leave that like subscribe comment do what you gotta do it's your boy here i'm not gonna make you do something you don't want to do like what am i gonna obligate you to to hit that like and subscribe button like i'm gonna find you I'm a All right, remember guys stay golden and i will see you in the next video i am going to leave now we're gonna go this way, because last time I went that way, the other times I went that way, so we'll just, we'll, we'll go this way, so.